Last year we went to Medellin, but this year, this year we're going to Rio. And in case you haven't get it yet, this is not Colombia anymore. This is Brazil. And that's why today we have right here on the table the upcoming Jordan 3s by J Valvin, the Jordan 3s Rio. That's the shoe that we're going to review today. As we can see right here, we have the box on the table. And yes, I'm gonna talk about the quality, some aspect of the shoe. Also, I'm gonna show you how these babies look on feet and everything that you want to know. And also, I'm gonna do a comparison between these and last year's pair to see which one is better, at least in my opinion. But before we go into that, please let me ask you to go and hit the thumbs up if you're liking the content. Also go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Activate that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video, which is every single day, guys. So, so go follow me on my Instagram and on TikTok as JasonJKX. And now, let's begin. Si el mundo te lleva a mover la cabeza y empezamos como es. <laughs> Let's begin this video. So this shoe is set to release this same very month. And man, this is one of the most anticipated releases for a lot of people. Like I've seen a lot of people really excited for this shoe. Probably I'm not as excited as you are, but I can still recognize the quality of the shoe. So what do we have right here? What are we going to get in case we have lucky enough to put our hands and our feet on these shoes? Because J Valvin's shoes seems to be very popular, even the Jordan 2s, but we're gonna talk about that a little later. But um, this guy right here, in case you didn't know, let me tell you right now, because you're probably here because of the hype of the shoe, J Balvin is a Colombian artist, a Latino artist, un artista latinoamericano, and he's one of the Jordan artists, I think probably the first Latin American artist, and let me tell you that, I'm Dominican, I'm Latino, that means I'm very proud of these. I'm still waiting for Jordan Brand to do something with a Dominican artist like El Alfa or Alofoque or some of those guys. But until that, I'm very happy with this J Valvin's collaboration because he's Latino, I'm Latino, and we love shoes. That's why we're here, right? So yeah, let's go with the shoe. We're gonna get the same box that we got last year. We even have this um, plastic cover all over the shoe just like last year. Right here we can see a dark scene with this plastic cover in the box with the J Valvin's logo as the sun shining along right here. But when we remove these, we're going to get this amazing looking box with purple hits right here, looking so beautiful. Something that I was really expecting a different box for the issue because the concept of the issue is not the same as last year's pair. And this box goes perfectly with the Medellin Sunset and we can see it right here because we have the Medellin Sunset on the box and it's looking beautiful, don't get me wrong, but this has nothing to do with Rio, okay? Even right here on the box, we have the same message as last year's pair that reads, Un atardecer en Medellin siempre me recuerda que viene un día nuevo lleno de oportunidades. That's in Spanish. And English says the same thing, just a different language. A sunset always reminds me a new day full of opportunity is coming. They didn't mention Medellin in English, but we know what it goes about. Also, we can see right here um, the J Valvin signature right here at the bottom of the box. And yeah, this is basically it when it comes to the box. Pretty nice, pretty cool, pretty beautiful, the box, but has nothing to do with real. Okay, now, what do we get inside of the box? Same thing as last year again. Same tissue paper, you can see that right there with the same message that we have at the top of the box. Uh, Atardecer en Medellin, the sunset, blah, blah, blah. That's what we have right here on the, um, on the tissue paper of the shoe. Nothing special again. I mean, nothing special for the real one because for the Medellin sunset, perfect. But for this one, but that's the box. That's the box. We ain't gonna wear the box anyway, right? So let's see what we have inside of the box. So when we remove the tissue paper, we're gonna get white tissue paper. But what we really want to see, it's not the box, even though that's a presentation and it's beautiful. 
just don't go with the shoes. But I already talked a lot about that. What we're going to get is this amazing quality shoe because this might be the best quality Jordan 3 of the year. We gotta talk about that. We gotta say it, we gotta say it. So, enough of talking. You want to see the shoe, right? I know you want to. I know you want me. <laughs> so, right here, we have, take a look at the bottom of the shoe. Extra laces, you already see it. Matching the outsole of the shoe, cool. That's a detail. I was expecting to show you this a little later, but the laces wanted to show up. What can I do about that? Cool, with all that being said, here we have the Jordan 3 Rio Vi J Valvin. And they, they look kind of good. They look kind of good in person, even better than in pictures, I gotta say. Really, really good pair of shoes. J Valvin, congratulations, felicidades. Really good job with this one, for real. Yeah, keep it going, boy, keep it going. So, this is the shoe, and it's looking nice, all right? Might not be my favorite, but it's looking really, really good. Don't get me wrong, it's looking really, really good. Man, man. J Valvin, thank you. Thank you for representing the Latina culture. People really don't understand how much we love shoes, especially the Jordan shoes, because we grew up well with that guy. We grew up well with him. He was really, really um, important for the, for the Dominicans as well. We grew up well watching him play. We, we, we have to listen to our, our, our families, our siblings, the, all those ones talking about how great he was, and me, myself, that has the opportunity to watch Michael Jordan play in the late 90s. Yeah, yeah, Dominican love Air Jordan shoes. You can see it, right? I'm Dominican, you know what I'm talking about. But this guy, you might be like, oh, but J Balvin is from Colombia. He's not from the earth. He's Latino. Los Latinos sabemos que lo que hay entre nosotros, tú sabes. Le llega. No, keep it going. I'm your Latino friend, by the way. Stay here with me. Just let me drink a little bit of these because I'm a little thirsty and I need to talk a lot right here, guys. Mm. But these right here are the brand new shoes from my guy, J Valvin. J freaking Valvin. The guy from. Yep, that's him. But this time, he's coming with pretty much the same shoe as last year. Just that this time, they are doing these in black. Not representing the Medellin Sunset this time, apparently, but real. That's the name of the shoe. And I'm super impressed with the quality that he implemented on the shoe. Pretty nice, pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Even though I'm gonna see it right now, I really think that the white pair is a little nicer than this one. This is one of the most unique Jordan 3s that you're going to get. I mean, the quality and the colorway on this one is wild. You, you can't deny that. Either you like it or not, the quality is here, the presentation is incredible, the shoe is really going to pop, I mean, you're not gonna go invisible with this shoe. Not even John Cena can go invisible with this shoe because they really pop. I mean, this, this colorway right here on the, on the midsole of the shoe is pretty crazy. Same one that we have last year, but with the black on the shoe, the coloring on the shoe pops even more, which is, we can say good, if you want people to notice you, people are gonna notice you with this one, okay? So, what are you going to get on these shoes in case you're lucky enough to get these shoes? You're going to get a predominantly black shoe with this rainbow color shoe right here. On the midsole we have purple, a little bit of orange, and yellow, some type of a mustache yellow right here on the back of the shoe. Same colors that we have on the heel top of the shoe. Take a look at that, that rainbow color. But what's most interesting about the heel top we're gonna get it on this side because it's on this side where we're going to get the J Valvins logo. That's something that you're not going to get on every normal pair of Jordan 3s. This is the special detail on the shoe. This J Valvins happy face logo, pretty cool. You know, J Valvin is all about uh, the energy, the, the, the vibe for the people, and that, that's why we have 
this happy face logo right here on the back of the shoe. Something else that we got on this one is a gold Jumpman right here. I'm telling you, the, the extra colors on the shoe are the same as last year's pair, just that this time we have a black shoe instead of a creamy white shoe like we have last year. The shoe is coming on this video. Just stay here with me a little bit more. Then what else do we have? We have these um, type of a, um, what's the color? What's the name of this color? Um, some type of a infrared or orange color. You know, I'm pretty, pretty bad with the colors, but you can see it right here on camera. That's the color that we have, by the way. Look at that quality on that tongue, man. It's, even in the tongue, we have good quality on this shoe. Pretty unbelievable, pretty, pretty unbelievable. The elephant print is dark, as we can see, to match um, the black color on the shoe. I saw some early pictures of the shoe with a clear, a clear elephant print. I think those were fake, but mm, let them do whatever they want to do. It doesn't matter. Here we have the one. Even the, um, the, the perforated leather here on the eyelids comes in black as well. The eyelids of the shoe comes in black as well. I think it could do like a yellow color for the eyelids or something like that, but nah, you know what, nah, they, they look good like this. We already have enough colors popping on the shoe. Something that is different also on this one from the other one outside of the black color is the outsole. The outsole this time comes in this translucent orange that looks really good, brand new. Brand new, they look really, really good. I like it. The outsole is beautiful, really, really beautiful. And when I go into the comparison between um, this year's Jordan 3 from J Valvin and last year's pair, we're going to see which one look better, okay? Cool, let's keep it rolling. Of course, air unit on the shoe because this is a Jordan 3. We have all the Jordan 3 features on this one as well. Black sug liner, the insole is pretty much the same one that we have last year again with this um, multicolor insole that we have on the shoe. Black sug liner, I already told you about that. Black right here on the ankle area with perforated leather as usual. And the laces that come pre set up with the shoes are black. I think the black one matched them perfectly. We'll see how they look with this one and another extra lace that I'm going to use for that on fit look. Stay tuned for that. I'm going to do the on fit and lace with video on this one. That's coming really, really soon. Stay tuned for that. Man, man, I gotta admit that even though I was not feeling the shoe at first, when I saw the early images of the shoe, and I still not like fully into the shoe, I can admit that the quality is really good. That's an extra point for the shoe in my opinion. And they, they just look better in person. If, if you don't like them, wait till you see this in person. Because for me, that was a game changer. I, I really, it's, it's probably cause you know, I really love Jordan 3s. Jordan 3 is just my second favorite silhouette ever. Just after the Jordan 1s, it goes Jordan 3s. Jordan 3s are unbelievable, really hard to mess up a Jordan 3, and this just this was really, really well executed. What else do we have? You can see it here. We have the Happy Face logo in this hang tag. Different color from last year on the hang tag as well. Pretty nice shoe, man. Jay Valvin, outside of the ones, because I didn't like the ones, it was like a bunch of color right there with some unique design, I gotta say, but a lot of colors. I, I couldn't deal with those. Those probably my least favorite um, J Valvin shoes. The twos, I think were amazing. There's a review about those shoes in the channel. You can go and take a look at those. I think those are super underrated, probably because they were good in twos, you know, and they have these glow um, wings logo. Pretty, pretty dope shoe, for real, super underrated. And then we have last year's pair that I'm going to compare with this one because Super dope shoe, but I really think that this is nicer. For real. It's probably because of the colorway only, but the colorway on this one is really, really beautiful. I like this colorway a little better than this one. I'm not really into all black shoes. And on this one, oh look, that's why I was like, this should include some yellow, yellow eyelets on this one because I, I had this one in mind. I, I was not, it was like unconscious, but I had this one in mind and this one actually do have the, the yellow eyelets. Look at that, yellow eyelets. And the, the yellow outline on the shoe on this one is an, another nice touch that we don't have on this one. But even though, yes, they are both really nice. They both have the, 
that uh, the J Balvin logo on the heel tab, the, the, the gold uh, jump man, they are really, really similar, but there's some details here and there that change, like the color on the back of the tongue, but pretty, pretty beautiful both of these, I gotta say. Now, again, I really believe that this is a more beautiful shoe. I haven't worn this one that much because it's a really crazy shoe. I got two pairs of this one, and I saw my, my, my the, the pair that I was wearing like on my weekly rotation, not, not on my weekly because I didn't wear them every week, but I saw those and kept these. This one are still pristine. You can see that on the outsole and going to that, let me do a comparison between the outsole of this one and the outsole of this one so you can tell me which outsole you like more. This one I think is gonna be uh, better for when it comes to aging. This one I think is gonna be a little better because this one is pure clear, but as brand new, I really think that this one look a little better. Beautiful color outsole on this one, simple, but beautiful. This one is not bad either. I just like this shoe as a whole. I think this one is a more beautiful shoe. Pretty, pretty much the same details for both of these, but just the, these colors, I think it's a little nicer, that's it. But the spotlight belongs to this one, this year's pair, and it's a really, really beautiful shoe. Can't go wrong with this one, can't go wrong. I just feel like it's gonna be really hard to obtain this one because people are really, really feeling the J-Valvin shoes, even though most of you, let's be honest, most of you don't even know who j Valvin is, right? You, you, you just don't know. But the thing that we have in common is the love for the shoes and I can appreciate a beautiful shoe. It doesn't matter who the shoe is coming from. And I'm pretty sure that's what you're doing with this one too. You're not really into J Valvin's music, but you recognize a really beautiful shoe, a really good collaboration when it's so well executed as this one is. In my opinion, really beautiful shoe. I'm gonna drop uh, a little bit more content about this one because there's some other things that need to be said. This was like my first impressions on the shoe. Like I said, the shoe grew up on me a lot after I see this in person. Probably it's gonna happen the same for you in case you're not feeling this. Even though I seen a lot of people loving the shoe and for obvious reasons, they should look good. I show you how they look on feet. Yes, they look fire on feet. Really, really fire. I show you that. You saw that on the, on the video and you're seeing it right now. Beautiful shoe, not that easy to match. Maybe in case you dress like me, super minimalistic, I go all black and that's it. If you see me on street, there's an 80% chance that you're going to see me dressing all black because I just love the black color when it comes to my clothes, not specifically to my shoes. I like the shoes to pop. That's why I'm not really into all black shoes. Kind of crazy, I know, but that's, that, that's how it goes. What can I say? Guys, it's time now for you to let me know what you think about these J Valvin 3's Rio, the first impressions. Then I'm gonna do a deeper review into the shoe, going into the quality. Remember that the on-fit video is coming, the lace-up video is coming. Everything that you want to know about the shoe, everything that you want to see about the shoe, you're going to get it on this channel. So make sure to be subscribed for more content like this. Also, leave a like if you appreciate the job that I'm putting through to get the shoes that you want to see because it's not easy to get these shoes i'm telling you it's not easy but i'm doing it for you so leave a huge like for your boy if you appreciate the job uh, also if you want to know more about me and my content outside of youtube i mean you can always follow me on tiktok i'm always uploading videos and also you can follow me on my instagram you have it here it's jason jkx I'm always, always uploading videos, picture, sneaker information like shock drop, early access, sneaker pause, everything that you want to know about shoes, like um, the upcoming releases, all that, you're going to get it first, right here in my IG, it's Jason J. Cakes. Thank you guys again for watching and till the next one. Let me know your opinion about these no J volumes. Are you gonna try to go for these? <laughs> Good luck guys and till the next one, goodbye.